Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be changing out my rings for the Filofax that I recently got. So I did get the ring mechanism from Stationary Life on Amazon and this is like a 31 mm ring size. It's much larger than the original Filofax. So I did watch a few videos beforehand for changing out this ring mechanism and it's actually completely different from now, um, from the past um, ring me mechanism. So yeah, they didn't have this eyelet cover on it um, when I watched the video. So I had a struggle of trying to remove it and ply it away. So I did have to go on my iPad and search some videos and someone actually showed how to drill a hole or try to make a hole in it and then drill through it. Um, but it didn't affect the um, leather planner um, as much. So it actually worked, um, but it did take a while. And yeah, I would suggest doing this on a probably a um, something soft. Like I did it on a, um, a towel and she did it on a cutting mat. Um, I did have a cutting mat, but it wasn't big enough and I don't want the my cutting mat to ruin the um, planner leather. So yeah, so I just opted it with a towel. Um, it's a clean towel that my dogs use, but obviously it's not, um, they didn't use it yet, so it's pretty clean. Um, so then here I had to you get a hammer and pretty much tap my awl into it so now you can see the indent and then it was so much of a struggle trying to pry the eyelet cover off of the eyelet itself so i had to use so many options and then i watched um, the video again i will link it down below if i remember because clearly i'm very forgetful now um so there's a lot of things happening right now but um yeah so it took me a while just to get it. I had to go steal my dad's tools. So I did have to drill into the hole and eventually it just started to come loose, um, as you can see. So I did try again to drill it again. Um, ultimately, you just have to remove the eyelet cover and then that's pretty much how you're able to remove the mechanism. So I had to use a multiple tools trying to remove it or pry it off. So I did have to use my awl a little more and try to ply it underneath. And then I ended up just using my um, pliers, try to um, pry it off. Um, since my pliers was um, like a wide nose um, plier, it wasn't able to grip it. So I was able to find my dad's um, really skinny needle nose pliers, so it actually helped. And I was able to remove it on one side and the other side came off so much um, easier. <laughs> so it's first very hard and then it gets easier over time. So I had to keep going back to my dad's tool area um, and try to find something. So here I found a screwdriver and pretty much tried to pry it off and I was able to pry it off with the um, the pliers that my dad has. So um, I was able to take off the uh, eyelet cover and then here I'm just trying to remove the eyelet itself. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to remove it since it was really hammered in um, or like how an eyelet is, it's squished between two pieces of um, holes. So yeah, I wasn't able to remove it completely, but I just kept pinching it um, close. So then I was able to remove the mechanism itself. And then I just pried it, um, I cinched it even more, like so it can go through the hole easier so it won't ruin the leather. So yeah, it was so much work and it was very tedious and I shouldn't have done it at night. So sorry neighbors. <laughs> So here, um, this side came off so much easier. I was able to, I knew what I was doing. So here I'm just prying the, pinching the eyelet together. So then the side comes, uh, or the top mechanism comes off. But I did have trouble trying to get the eyelet off of its um, mechanism because I didn't pinch it good enough. So how I removed this um, 
since it still had technically the eyelets, um, the top eyelet part. So I had to squeeze the and try to clip it off. I was hoping to trip, clip it off, but it wouldn't budge. Um, it was too thick ultimately. So I just kept bending it back and forth and then it just snapped off and it was so much easier to remove that way. So here you can see I'm just bending it back and forth and it just came right off. And then I was able to push out the other end, like just like that. And I still have the towel underneath just to make sure that my leather planner doesn't get scratched. And this is actually the Filofax stone planner. And I did get it on, well, it was much cheaper than if I bought it on the Filofax website. So I got it around $80 compared to $123, so it's $40 off. Um, it was really good, but I did have to wait a few days to get it, so it was okay. And I was went through a um, rabbit hole where I was watching a bunch of minimal um, planners, and yeah, I just was eyeing the stone since February, but I knew I wasn't going to use it. But I want to go minimal, and I haven't been planning with my stickers recently. I mean, my, um, like for my memory plan with me, yeah, it was just, I don't know. I don't know, I'm going through a planner funk, but I want to go um, minimal for some reason. It's just really peaceful. So here I'm just trying to put in the eyelet for the new mechanism. So the, it does come with Chicago screws. So um, unfortunately the holes weren't big enough, so I had to drill, uh, or not really drill, but screw in with the, screwdriver that they provided tried to make the hole a little bigger and i eventually was able to get the eyelet into it and i did have to rub off um, a bit of my uh, fingerprints because it attracted a lot um, and it's not actually matte black like the rings is it's actually um it has a um finish to it. So uh, you can clearly see the difference between the matte black and the Chicago screws. So here I'm just using a really skinny Phillips screwdriver or yeah, I think it's Phillips. I don't know. Or flat nose. I don't know. I don't know my tools, but uh, pretty much I use something um, just to do that. So this is my mechanism. Um, my next video will be showing my setup video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye.